Police is a country full of creative people, and film is the media where this energy can be embraced. My name is Daniel. I'm a local artist and filmmaker here in Belize. In this documentary, I'm going to show you how we made a film in Belize. Wow. Cool. Hey everyone. Hey, Hello. Hello. All right. Hey. We're going and we're gonna have a blast. Yeah. And Mihana's all the way up in the front. Here we are with most of the cast on our way to the Belize International Film Festival. All of us are not professional actors because that's crap. Passes to um We're actors, goddamn. So we made an experimental film and it was selected to open the Belize International Film Festival. Did I mention nothing like this has ever been done before? We started shooting our film April, Friday the 13th, and we premiered our film July, Friday the 13th. Three months later, it all seems like a crazy dream. Is this really happening? a couple of trailers on YouTube and uh, that's about it. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what comes out. I've been working in film, art, in Belize for over 13 years. And they're more green? I do a lot of work in wildlife conservation. This is Aaron Beavis. He is a jungle expedition leader, along with many things that Aaron does in Belize. He's also worked in the past in film production. <laughs> <laughs> this is Matthew Klink. He's a Canadian filmmaker who was traveling in Belize. He fell in love with the country, he made some connections, and then he volunteered to teach film production and claymation. Here he is with the animation workshop from Millie City. <laughs> I met up with uh, with Danny and, and Matthew in a bar, and they uh, they came at me with the idea of making a movie in the jungle. Like, all right, maybe we can work that out. But I guess, and we need to start making it in four days. Oh, okay, so you have anybody to act? Nope. Alright, so <laughs> it kind of just came together from there, you know, we started uh, coming up with a storyline, Matthew said maybe horror, we were like alright, we went with the folklore route, kind of fell together, and uh, yeah, I just kind of pieced it together from there. So the three of us get together over a drink and decide to make a movie in the jungle. So our goal is to make a Belizean film 
all local cast and crew in three months in time for the film festival. Yeah, yeah. Co-producer, director, cameraman, editor, and driver. Actor, associate producer, Jungle Logistics. And medic, me again. Co-producer, camera, and art director. So as far as I know, no film has ever been made the way we made The Curse of the Ishtabai. When we started the project, literally two weeks before we started shooting, we didn't have a title, we didn't have a script, we didn't have actors, we didn't have anything. Um, it was just the idea that we were going to do a project in Belize. The idea was to try to shoot in the most phenomenal setting we could find in our area. And uh, that was the Dunnelly Hill National Park with the waterfall and the cave. And it just brought a, an amazing dynamic to, a, to an incredible view. <laughs> Um, so we went on this, uh, on this scout that Aaron Beavis brought us to the, the, the cave and he showed us what, you know, the potential settings for, for a film like this would be. You actually go through this cave. This is the entrance to the chambers here. Oh man, okay. This is a spectacular entrance. It is. And it was just stunning. It was beautiful. So I thought, you know, at very least, even if we don't have anything else, we've got beautiful things to film. And if we bring some people here and we make something happen, you know, we should have something we can at least show here and start building, you know, a, a, a film industry with. Part of the expedition on this movie could be like, you get a shot of like everybody climbing up that water. Yeah. Like, like a line of people, you know? We also start brainstorming our story. Think about a shot. Uh, the whole group trying to go up the waterfall. Good yeah. position, like old Africa style, you know? Yeah. Like a line of people going up it. Sabina Linz, who has a dance theater background, meets Matthew at Jay and our guest house. So you can be yourself, and together you'll be a very interesting group. She finances half the film, becomes an executive producer, and also shoots. The idea was that, that the actors were going to create their own characters and improvise all the scenes and we would see what that would create. Um, so this is potentially the most experimental film that, I don't know, I won't say that has ever been made, but certainly that I have ever uh, participated in. It was a pure art experiment. We all unite to make a movie. That's on the door of the audition. Wow, okay, well now I don't even have any worry. So now we need actors. Through word of mouth and Facebook, we invite anyone to come and audition. Yeah, everybody's here. I don't know, we'll see how many people actually come to the audition, but let's see. Yeah. Let's see what, what happens. I don't know where anyone today will be. I can't yeah. believe we're shooting in two days. Hi. <laughs> Yes! Yes! Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> <feel> the same way. <laughs> awesome though. Yeah, 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 doing it, doing it. Yeah, good. I was at home one day and a friend of mine came to my house and she was like, Oh, you want to get involved in a movie? He said, you like acting, right? You still like to do it? And I was like, yes. And she said that you're having auditions at Hoarded. So I just said, well, here is my shot to, to make it. I had never ever auditioned. First of all, I, I acting wasn't even a part of my hobby. I just used to do it in high school. But when I heard about being in a movie and you have to go and audition, I was like, hmm. I was like, well, this is my time to shine, my time to show these people out there who Mama really is, what what kind of talent she have hiding behind all this pretty face and good oh, character. Yes. <laughs> Tell me, how'd you find out about the movie? Uh, found out about it from uh, Justin Ford, one of my teachers. 
from school. Uh, he told me about the auditions and all that, and um, you know, took a whack at it, and yo, landed the part. I kind of prepared up myself, you know, in front of the mirror and all that, do my whole, you know, scared face, smiley face, and all that. So you know, it was it wasn't really that much, you know, I wasn't that shy or anything. When we did the audition, um, I guess we didn't get the. We didn't get the fluff, maybe, that we were looking for as far as the, you know, the, that, that girl. That... So I said, I think I have some ideas, and I left the, uh, I left the place where we were doing the audition. And... Okay, we were heading home, me and my sister. I think I drove about 100 or 200 yards, and I saw these two girls walking down the road. And I... He asked, hey, you two girls, you want to make a movie? We said, like, this fellow is crazy. He's maybe he takes so much drinks and he don't know what he's saying. I pulled over and I asked them, would you like to be in a movie? And uh, they kind of looked at each other and I said... I told my sister, okay, let's try. Let's follow this crazy one. Okay, they put their vegetables in the car and I took them to the audition. And uh, yeah, that, they, they auditioned and they <laughs> kind of fit right in and kata. <laughs> You've ever done any acting before or anything like that? Nothing no, before? Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. So this movie is gonna be a scary movie. Okay? You like scary movies? Okay, you'll be, you'll be in one. And it's all about a group of students who go into the jungle and kind of get lost and they get haunted by an ancient spirit. Do you know Ishtabai? <laughs> would you uh, would you be comfortable uh, going into the jungle for two days and camping there overnight and everything? Honestly, what made me want to be in a movie would be just to uh, perform. I love performing and I love getting out there and, and especially especially that that kind of environment. Oh yeah, listen, listen. Oh, you think about that? Listen, listen. The casting the, was really the audition, funny. yeah. I was I was really nervous. Um, <laughs> I just remember going from one extreme to the other, like be more yourself, because I was sort of like Jim Carrey, like overacting, like oh no, no, <laughs> you know. Um, and then I just kind of switched into something more real. Started thinking about my character more. Nihana, why uh, why would you want to be in a movie like this? Um, sounds like something different to do, as opposed to my other artistic abilities. Tell us about your other artistic abilities. I'm a painter. Cool. Cool, okay, you do painting. Yeah. Like, pretend that your, say your baby sister is right here, and she's, she's convulsing. Seriously, she's convulsing, she's, she's having major trouble like she's 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 like dying she's coughing blood it's it's crazy i'd like to see like what your how you'd react to that right there yeah she's right here okay okay ready mm -hmm. one two three go oh my god are you okay say something oh god oh my god okay okay <laughs> oh my god All right, cut. So we have a lead actress. This project is also a training program. We're going to train people in all the steps it takes to make a movie. Production, just to keep things simple, because I'm not going to want to try to rebring everyone together. We're going to do sort of an orientation today. And then, first of all, all three of you are available Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? Yeah. Camera's right here. No, you make it obvious that a camera is there. It's, it's not there. It's not there. The moment you acknowledge the camera, the whole audience yeah. doesn't yeah. believe you anymore exactly. because you looked right at them. They're like, whoa! That's what we were talking about yesterday. Yeah. I'm like, the camera's not there. there. Yeah. It's yeah. not even there. Yeah, the camera's not there. You're, you're in your world. The, the camera does not exist. Now, along the way, some of you will die. I'm not even sure who yet because I'm not like I'm not seeing the whole cast together. All this, I, I don't know in what order yet. So there's no, this has not been decided. Just be aware that some of you will. I think all the late covers. 
So you can you can be who you want to. You just have to know who you are. Okay? You just you just tell us. But it's a version of yourself no matter what. You're not playing like some uh, I don't know, you're not playing like a an, an oil company owner in Texas. <laughs> you know, you're you're playing you. It's on. You're it's making on. a movie? It's on. We're making a horror film in San Antonio tomorrow. No, Friday. Really? Crazy. We just got our main character today. I know, I know. God. We're making a movie? We're, 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 we're off the film of movie. Yeah. So, uh, we're super excited. This is first day of shooting, and uh, I guess Hollywood after this, guys? Yeah, Hollywood. Red carpet event? We're like, Holly weird. Red carpet. carpet, the film festival for sure. <laughs> but I'm on the, you know, the lower side of the speed bump. I need water, seriously. Just watch that, Just don't, don't step on that gear, huh? We recruit two more cast members. A local jungle support team. Our first shoot starts in San Antonio Village. Kyle. Okay. Um, Shelly is not only an actress in the film, but she also does makeup. Action! Oh yeah, I got some gas, yeah. First thing we're gonna have when I go to Bush. The machi. Get one. But this I freed for it. I never grab one at this Our jungle support team become our extras. Okay, and action! Action! Aaron, action! <laughs> it was a challenge because we get 20 people that live in the city and tell them we're gonna go and camp out in the jungle for four nights and shoot a movie in the <laughs> in the mud and, and getting vehicles back there it, it was a challenge uh, but I guess that's what made it great it was uh, was all the little hurdles that we had to go through to make it happen and, um, getting a van for 16 people to go up these roads where we shot the movie was that was a challenge in itself. Um, it, it just kind of came together. We head out to Lee Hill County National Park where we camp out and shoot most of our movie. We hike in while shooting some scenes. Okay, cut. I got at least something on the right there. Well, hold on, you didn't say what it was though. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that though? We'll it's go back to the next that? one and say. It's a movement. What is it? This is termites. Yeah, the termite idea just kind of came along because in my day to day routine, when I take guests out into the jungle, I'll typically uh, show them that, yeah, you can eat termites and you can drink out of vines and you can, you know, use these different plants that are all around us to. Uh, to make your life a little more comfortable in the jungle. So just kind of integrate it into the story. You see how the jungle can provide anything you need. If you need shelter, you got shelter. If you need food, you got food. If you need water, you got water. This is termites. 
this burger? Oh, I hear about this see? already. Yes, you just yes, open I your mouth yes, and yes. eat it, see? What? It's nice. Come in. Come. Shake it in like salt shaker. Meanwhile, our jungle support team prepares camp. We're camping out in the jungle making a movie. Rambo! Yeah. El original! Rambo! El original! Rambo. Boom! Rambo. Boom, boom, boom! Yeah, it's starting to look normal, huh? A little lighter? Ah, they will go... They, they Let's try just, this. They will just go... That's good for machine gun. so pretty very nice <laughs> <laughs> <Come on. laughs> it's fun. makeup was really great um, luckily I brought all of my stuff putting on my own makeup took like probably about an hour <laughs> ran out of some things um, that I didn't have so we had to come up with some certain things like blood. I had to make some blood and that part was fun, although we had to injure some people. This is I love Give your <laughs> That's your wife <laughs> ugly <laughs> wife. You <are>. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> some good behind the scenes. <laughs> it was such a different approach to filmmaking than I have ever seen before because literally we just went day by day and improvised the whole thing. I mean, there was, there was no rule to this production. It was not, not like, okay, we have to do this first and we have to spend, you know, weeks developing it and writing and all this. There was nothing written. I mean, the whole thing was done with a, a few pages of notes. What happened yesterday with the military, then with Ian, I Tired. We Listen to me, can... Rosalie. You cannot go home. Everybody Let's tired. All right. Game. Everybody in the day. We say that, but we can't go home. That's not the bottom line. Um, the producer had told us more or less what the movie was all about, and it was just up to us to just freestyle it and do our thing. Bob, this is what we're gonna be doing and all that, and just make it happen. And that's when you bring in the poison because they're gonna be yeah. interacting with it. I know. I and know. stopping them, one of the girls from chopping. You know, when just we're, little things that I can think now. Yeah, it's disjointed, but in the editing we can put it together yeah, no, 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 no. and right. make it make more sense than the way we shot it. See, we're of not course. gonna we're not gonna cut it the it's way the we rough did it. Everything is gonna be. What? Tree, yeah, you can't uh, jump. Some of I the trees around here. What? See how this white sap they come up with that you put on your skin? I'll burn you up. It's not like battery acid. Working without a script really gave me um, and everybody else in the cast to be a little bit more natural and gave us a lot of freedom in how to plot out where the movie was going to go. And so we had guidelines, but um, I think, especially with Creole, because the movie had to be. Done in Creole. I want to care. I want to pick me. The guy that we master right now. Yes, I know, baby. Sit there. Yeah. I just took care of If you want to make it, you can make it. If you don't want to make it, I'm going to stay right there. It gave us a little bit more freedom to just be ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So that really helped. Action! And action! All right, sis, another listen to me. After an intense day of shooting, we break for dinner. Well, I think I'm gonna have some skeddy. Feel good? I've never been bitten by a person. No, no, that's a person. Friday the 13th meal. April, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. This is 2012. This is 
you're gonna be to hear like music in your head, like you're like you're being hypnotized by by a, by sound, by a, a, a woman singing. So you you're just kind of looking off into the distance. And you're like, oh, and and then you're gonna leave the campfire and you say, you know, I'll be back. And you're gonna walk off into the night. Then you're gonna show up here, and Ishtabai is gonna come out of the water, and she will look. We'll On my feet. We won't You're see what her feet. face looks like yet. This cow. Yes. <laughs> One, intensity and action! Yes. Fuck. Yeah. Oh my god! And well, then the last thing we'll do tonight, we'll shoot the fire scene. I wish we could have done it here, but I forgot, I forgot the sound of the rapids, so we can't shoot it with the sound. Productive day, the truth. We did do a lot of shit today. After a long, exhausting day, we shoot our last scenes. Okay, and uh, scene 25, take two. <laughs> that. Okay, scream! Today's Black Friday, guys, so all you white guys go to bed early tonight. I can breathe a little bit. <laughs> The next day, Nicasio is the first one up, and he prepares the fire. It stung you? It stung me, yeah. Two times. No way. That's not. That's not deadly. No, the smaller ones are deadly. This is alright. Aaron prepares breakfast. It's a delicacy in many countries too. Scorpion is coming out of the batch. What do you want? Papa and salt. Papa and salt. Papa and salt. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, motherfucker! Oh my God! Oh, fucking hell! Nice. Oh. It tastes like chicken. No, you didn't just say that. It tastes kind of like shrimp. Oh, I, yeah, that was I, terrible. Like... I'm gonna be following uh, Nihanda over to the fight, and then she's gonna try to break it up. And other others of you guys can come in and, and help break up the fight. Okay? I'm just gonna laugh. Yeah, you can laugh. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay. So. Let's make the fight over, over here. <laughs> the fight scene. What do you mean, girl? You can't do this right now. Never did you give us the Ali can fight, right? Yeah, man. I'm so tired. What's going on, man? We're going to get off. We're going to kill this young man. I want to go on this freaking young shit. I'm like, listen, listen, listen. The cast members sometimes didn't take us seriously. But we had fun and we were productive. Nicasio hikes ahead of us with the medical kit. Our next shoot is at Sapadilla Falls, where the cast members get to have some fun.
shoot was so cool because um, we were trying to figure out what we were going to do and we're doing some underwater scenes with Ishtabai and some of the girls and who's going to die and all of a sudden it starts pouring and it was, I mean it was right, it was right as somebody was dying so it was like perfect timing, it was great. And it was, it was awesome. It was like a, as they were filming and you're coming out of the water and it's pouring, it was, it was almost like it was fixed for the film. But, well, of course, we're not that talented. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. The right place at the right time. And then and give her a few like seconds of freaking out and then run in, okay? And I will Oh my god! Somebody help me! Oh my god! Okay, no, no, okay, okay, let's do it again. Let's do sorry, I should have called action. When I say action, you scream and you guys run. Three, two, one, and action! Oh my god, I'm... Oh god, help me! Oh my god! What is going on? The actors were amazing. They really got into their roles. The shoots were sometimes pretty chaotic, but we kept rolling. Just lie down again, lie down again. Sometimes I wasn't sure if I was shooting for the film or the documentary. Sabine, you're in the shot. Like I'm on a. This was true creative chaos. These are the shots. Go here, see? Yeah. Like that. Okay. Three, two. No, no, it's muerta. I won't do it hard. I'll just do it like this. That's muerta. Okay. All right. Dead, dead, dead. Three, two, one. Action. What rascal on ya, man? What happened to that This one. Freak out more, freak out this more. This one gone. This one dead. She kill her. Why Hollywood kill America? Cut. Cut. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 That, it's a scary. It's a Nothing. scary movie. It's not a documentary. Uh, Nicasio was a, was a was an interesting part of the of the, of the shoot because he thought he was going to be a porter, and uh, we I went into the bar that morning and uh, found him. He was hammered, and uh, I said, uh, you know. Tomorrow, I'm gonna need you to come out with me and and uh, we're gonna go into the jungle and we'll do some work. He said, yes, I can do it. I said, all right, so you're gonna stop drinking you know, tonight, right? He said, yes. So he thought he was gonna go out there and help us carry gear and so we didn't really let him know that he was going to be the, the, the shaman until <laughs> about 10 minutes before he was the shaman. Scene D, take five. Three, two, one, action! Okay. What's wrong with you? She and just killed his sister. Yeah. And she just said that she, that she, that she, and she did dream some kind of lady. We have a lady to scream the night. He had a bush. Isn't that something like, like a bad spirit? I know, I know. So that is nothing hard to cure. We were all blown away by his performance. How long have you been an actor? Ten minutes? <laughs> this guy is gonna win an Oscar. 
<laughs> You're good. <laughs> the next day, Aaron finds a species of insect that we have never it's seen before. Ever. No, no, that's, that's not. Who is that? I just see Dude, I don't know what that is. What you doing, Aaron? I make some. Well, some herbs apple. Take with but bad, bad belly. Local medicine. We should learn to preserve and talk more about our jungle, especially here in Belize. If there's a change in heart, then I will go. I can promise I'll be alright, but I'm damn sure. We have a good breakfast before heading out to shoot our first cave scene. Nihanda helps me prepare a prop. I'm also the art director for this film. What are we doing? Um, lights for the cave. After a long hike to the cave, we all start to feel pretty exhausted. It had already been a crazy long morning of filming out in the middle of the jungle, and then we had to transition to offering cave. Following Nicasio cutting through the jungle, We're about to go in the cave to do a whole half day of shooting in there, and then we hear it. Oh my god. Alright, get out of here. Alright, get out of here. Move, 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 move. Get off the rock. And I had no idea. I didn't panic because I thought, okay, this is just like some normal thing in the jungle. But the people who knew better said, killer bees! <laughs> running away like crazy and we tried to, we ran and ran and ran through the jungle. Of course, most of the crew was stung many times and the Honda, our main actress, was stung over and over on the face. It was, it was scary. Didn't expect to be stung by bees. <laughs> water, where's the water bag? Water bag, where's the water bag? I ran as fast as I could, really. Oh, this is so fucked up. The Honda stung a few times on her face. Well, I'm waiting to see if we're going to need epinephrine. Which um, I happen to have. Yeah. It's just oh, in that other first aid kit by the tree. Okay, it's in another one. Well, he can't get it. He can't get by because the bees are attacking. But if I have to, I'll run right up in there and I'll get it. I'll do it too. What is that? God, my face hurts. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Just a little bit of water. Pull you down. Relax. Calm down. It's gonna hurt. It's painful. You get some. You get some. Yeah. You're gonna be okay. I won, but any inflammatory. Aaron is the type of guy you want when you're in the jungle. I don't need to laugh. I can't. It hurts. Wait, wait, wait. This is serious shit. I got injected into the heart. No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what I need to hear right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like adrenaline. Right? God damn. Pulp fiction. Yeah, pulp fiction. <laughs> One, two, three, doom. Oh. Ah! Where's your epinephrine? The camp. Like the camp? That's where you can Oh, at the camp. <laughs> it's the camp. No. All right, well, it's a good thing I got it. Good thing we brought the first aid kit. Yeah, that's necessary. You no, know, I, I knew that I was allergic to bees. I hadn't been stung in about 10 years. I just tried to, like, keep antihistamines and kind of stay out of certain areas and I'm usually very aware of bees that are in the area. Okay, well how do we keep this person from dying if she is allergic and uh, how do we keep shooting because we're in the middle of nowhere and we can't just leave. <laughs> so we're here to get this done. So it was a balancing act and it, it worked out. She turned out not to be allergic or the Benadryl kicked in, one of the two. Now, that entrance ain't gonna work. So, <laughs> 
So that's no. not a problem. It's not a showstopper. If we had been anywhere else, like where I'm used to making movies in North America, we would have called the insurance company and said, okay, act of God, killer bees, oh, killer we need two days off and full pay water. because this is crazy. And we would have, you know, stopped the production that day. And we still had all those cave scenes to do, another 20 minutes of the film or 15 minutes of the film. And the whole crew was like, you know what? Let's go do it. We're gonna have to go through that jungle like that and climb up and get into the cave and go ahead and get our, try to get our, maybe our cave shots out of the way, I don't know. Well, there's that big entrance beside the small entrance, yeah. but we still have to go right past the mouth of this to get into it. Oh. Otherwise we hike all the way down and then up the mountain again. Nihanda fully recovers. We take a break before going into the cave. Okay, scene 45, take one, and Nicasio in Maya action. Okay, so, okay, I got it, I got it, I got the scene now. First is gonna be Professor walking to the ledge, then the shadow. That's part of the magic of making this film in, in Belize. I can't believe that we did that the same day we were attacked by bees. We continue developing our story. Yeah. So she arrives here, she has both artifacts. Yeah. And then she reveals the last part of her dream, which is that she is the one to be sacrificed. Who? Nihanda. Nihanda. Oh, so she's she doesn't have to pick up the artifact in the fight. I could be coming in running. She has the one artifact here, and I can come in running. And when Nick tripped me, I just fall down, you know, on something, and he just casually steps over me and grabs the artifact yeah. without saying anything cool. and just sets it up on the pedestal. Just part of the process. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, because you do. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, so when he kills me, he just takes the artifact from me. And that's part of the ceremony. All right. You know, see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, so she it's, runs it's, in it's with all meant one. to happen. Okay. It's all meant to happen. It's destiny. Yeah, it's destiny. Okay, good. After we finally make it out of the cave, we find out that Alex uses the keys to the van. I'm going to go hiding for the shrooms. All right, hey, yeah, where's Danny? While they were patiently waiting in the jungle, I was riding my motorcycle back the wrong way. Okay. I went the wrong way. <laughs> no way. Yeah, stepped the wrong way. That was a real bad thing to do. Oh shit. Ooh, I was girl. almost at the cave. What? Alright, see you guys out there. I'll see you at the bar. Yeah, the bar. Yeah. We all unite at Amigos Bar where we shot our first scene. All right, see you guys later. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. I'll be right behind. Check with you guys. We take a day off before going out to do our second cave shoot. We head out to Larzaro Cave. Larzaro Cave is located behind Siete Mias and below some cornfields. Cut, 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 Greg. Yeah. 
Okay, ready? Everyone is still rolling? Three, two, one, action! <laughs> Recipe for blood. <laughs> Food coloring in corn syrup. Okay. Now, up like you were. Up like you were. Now, speak Maya. I got happy when you see it. Thank you. Later that day, we relocate to shoot the beginning of our film. We use our friends' classroom and students as extras. Pretend like you don't. Okay, roll everything! Roll everything! Rolling! Everybody rolling! Come on! In this scene, a student gets sick and pukes out blood. We put ketchup in his mouth, and later we find out that he hates ketchup and it really made him sick. We kept rolling and shot this in one take. At this point, the actors had three days experience in improv acting. They really shine in this scene. Oh my gosh! Most of the film shot and once we came out of the jungle we started having to do these other scenes uh, to introduce the characters like we needed the scene with uh, Nihanda's mom and nobody had showed up to the audition that could potentially play her mother. Tell me how did you find out about the movie? Well I found out about the movie through you Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Miriam offered us to help with logistics and driving and anything that we needed. She said, anything you need, let me know, I'm gonna help out. And so she was, she was bringing us around and picking things up for us and she, she got a, a megaphone for us. And uh, then we kind of asked, how would you like to play a role in the movie? And she said, man, I would love that. And she turned out to be like one of the highlights of the film. Bananas or no bananas? Bananas. I so in effect I volunteered um, my grandson and myself to play the part of um, Nihanda's younger brother and mother respectively. scene and the trauma in the hospital, we needed a doctor. And we, again, we had not auditioned somebody who could play a doctor. Two. So the guy who'd been doing the clapper work and, and like just carrying eight, stuff, eight, he was five. one of our, our helpers and had done some of the sound work as well. We said, hey, how would you like to be the doctor? <laughs> and he said, yeah, <laughs> let's do it. So we, we dressed him up as a doctor, gave him a stethoscope and man, he did an awesome job. He'd never acted before. He never expected to act on this film. But boom, we transitioned him from crew to actor, just like that. Uh, okay, scene, <laughs> scene six, take one. And everyone cough, please. And action. <laughs> Stabilize him. We'll do our best, but we don't we know what we're doing. Weird things. I can't cure it. We can't like bathe out ice water or something. That's not what supposed to be do because you have more fever. No, nope. it kills them faster. <laughs> what do you 
you think about movies in Belize? How did how did you feel to be one of the first young actors in a movie in Belize? Good, like movie star. <laughs> Right. Some people knew I was in the movie. Some people they must have watched the movie. And my neighbor knows too. And he has the movie. The zip lining was so cool. We were actually trying to think of how we were going to make Ishtabai fly. And we were just talking, and the zip lining came up. And we were like, oh, that would be so cool. So. This is my first time flying as a. Well, not a monster yet, but soon we'll be. They actually usually harness you sitting down so that you're actually almost in a swing position. So they had two places where the harness came up, and then behind me they had a guide to stop me so I didn't end up in, in running into a tree and having some brain damage. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. But the first time you didn't have a guide. With you. The first time I didn't have a guide, I was yeah! so scared. I mean, I was going so fast. They had somebody waiting to catch me when I got there, and I went, pow! So fast. I mean, I thought I, I, my heart was beating. I thought I was gonna die. But after I got done, we said, uh, I said, I don't think I could do that again. Mm. That was so crazy. She's on the, she's on the wire. I don't know. Yeah. production value, caves, waterfalls, action, and Ishtabai. The Belize Defense Force join us. This is really happening, if you can believe it. Can't get any better. If you can believe it. I feel like uh, I, I feel like a little kid <laughs> with a new toy. <laughs> a new toy too. The big toy. <laughs> the big truck. <laughs> with a big truck too. Yeah. <laughs> Soldiers patiently wait while the crew sets up the crane. Guys, like I said, as long as the camera can aim down, I'm happy. The Mutri brothers built this crane in Santa Elena in their backyard. You'll still be here, so... Good, yes. Yeah, you'll still, you'll still be around. Good. Okay, so this is ultra-wide. Everybody aware, so stay away from the... Get into it, get into it. Stop, you can't pass this area. This area is for lockdown by the government of Belize. My son is dead. The doctor said he can't do anything. I have to come through. Bye! I knew from the beginning that I was going to die in, in the movie, and um, but I had not prepared well for the, for, for the scene because I had been preparing to be shot from the back. You're not supposed to pass this area. Stop. Yes, yes, this, this, wait, are you going? Stop, I said don't go any closer. Stop. 
That's, that was not bad. That was not bad. Let's do it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, no, no, don't, that's it. From there, from there. I'm rolling still. Let's go again, right now. That was good. Oh, there's a compression in my head. <laughs> I did not expect it to fire. Oh. Oh. Our film starts to take shape. That was good. One action. Exhausted, guys. Don't overdo it, though. Just no, no smoke. Come, let me hold Two, your one, hand. action. This long time, boy, and never see you. Tommy. Come, let me hold your hand. I run to her. And then, and then I, and then I jumped up and, and I hugged her. A few weeks later, we traveled to Belize City to go meet with Channel 5 to shoot our newsreel piece. Did you do the reporter piece? They just need the tip. Oh, okay. yeah, just be shooting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll so we'll record it and we'll send it to you. Okay, you know we can do it that way. That, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's I, I, even better. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's some Creole. All right, all right. Creole. See, it's full Creole. Mm -hmm. Everything. And I think if we could do the news report mm -hmm. in Creole, mm -hmm. the, like it would just be so special. People would be talking about that, right? It's, like, it's the same people who do the real news in, in English. But all of a sudden in the movie, it's like it's a Creole and they're, they're more fun with it. I'm impressed by what I've seen so far. So. Yeah, it, it turned out better than even I expected. The cast is amazing. You can't believe these people can act just like that. Yeah. One day to another, actors. <laughs> Channel 5 ended up producing the piece on their own. For the BDF agenda that to secure the safety of the Belizean people. The last the shooting. Last the last shoot of 2012, Curse of the Ishtabai. We hike into ATM Cave, arriving at night. Our film was shot like a jungle expedition documentary. Our guides carried our camera in dry bags. We were super excited to be finally completing the production of our film. Damn. It's a wrap. We shot our entire film. For 2012, Curse of the Ishtabai. And this is Josh's place. He's Josh. Josh. Is you're Josh? This is Danny. Josh, nice, nice to meet you. Good. Good. This is Miriam. I'm the driver today. <laughs> Speaking of the, the recording of the clap, because okay. what I have in there sounds like a 1980s kung fu movie. Oh. It's like a jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Michael, you, you, you're gonna get to me already on your phone. Michael, 
is going to. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. The, the, the important thing when you're making a movie, because right now, so, you know, sometimes the microphone is very close to the people, sometimes the microphone was far away yeah. or aimed the wrong way. Yeah. The sound yeah. is all over the map. Yeah, yeah. So we want to try and make the sound as yeah. even yeah. as yeah. possible. That's the okay, biggest yeah. job actually on this yeah. film. Yeah. yeah. Is to equalize yeah. out the, the okay. and, and, and mix out the vocals, okay. the dialogue track, and then it's going to be about putting in the mm -hmm. like the yeah. sound effects and cool. design. Cool. Depending on the on the uh, on the location the person is mm -hmm. in the in the movie, mm -hmm. so from that I pan it to make it sound more coming from this side, like more like a surround sound. Sure. I'm trying to it. Sure, I like it. So that's what I'm. We're, we're what ten days away from the festival right now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Rick composed all the music for the movie out of his room. Where the, the magic happens that no one's heard before. New stuff? We're gonna hear some new stuff. And even I haven't heard this. I like the. Wow. Yeah, this one is more uh, for the scene when the girl was. Is that a chainsaw in the background? No, that's actually a distorted bass. Reverse. Sounds like a freaking chains. Yeah. It's, a, it's this bass distorted and reversed. God. Yeah. <laughs> your, the, your, your distortion work is yeah, yeah. excellent. Thank you so much. Very, very good. Thank yeah. You so much, man. Your distortion work is yeah. fantastic. I think that's sort of the, the signature sound of the movie. You think so? I think so. Yeah. I think yeah. so. No, no. Taking it to a whole another level. Thank you, man. Isn't it great? Listen to that distortion. Yeah. It's it's so cool. You know what scene that is? No, what's it? it that's that's the underwater death scene. Oh wow. It's crazy. Yeah, it it's help. crazy. <laughs> Somehow heard about this movie that was going on. I was kind of psyched about it from the beginning, but I was a little bit sad that I didn't get to act in it. Because when, when I was told about it, I was actually hoping to act. But um, I guess I got the, the next best thing doing the music, mm -hmm. which is <laughs> composing my line. <laughs> Picked up elements here. I had changes made here. We went to get the visual effects. I, I, we had we we designed the credits, the credit roll. I never got footage of Juan working on a film, but here he is at the 2012 Film Festival, receiving the Best Music Video Award. Yes. Juan Reyes did the visual effects for the entire movie. He insisted on doing all the visual effects for the whole film. The, the movie, wait till you see the movie with the sound design yeah. and everything. I have all the elements lying around here. <laughs> I'm about to combine them for once and for all. And here's the crazy part. It is 8.19 p.m. on Wednesday, the, the 11th, the 11th. We premiere this 
at the Bliss in less than 48 hours. I have not even combined the elements on the computer. I haven't even started the render process to encode the film so we have a movie and then make a DVD from it. This is Hollywood and Bliss. <laughs> Holly weird. Don't get Holly weird, no Hollywood. Do you know something? You saw all the people that were just formed up here? This is the first time any one of them has ever acted. And they did such a good job. I'm so happy to be here. Hello. Hello. I feel grateful. I feel honored. I killed my sister. Oh, that was like, really? Did I kill her? Oh no. <laughs> We all contributed and Matt was so patient with us when we were like, uh, no, that sucks. <laughs> he would be like, okay, yeah, let's see what you have to hear, you know, what you have to say. Even though we had like zero experience, he all he listened to every single one of us and it really, really worked out for the best. They don't know that they've been conquered. At this point, we celebrated hard. We drank a lot, and we were loud. And somehow I feel that we were being judged by a certain person sitting behind us. It was quite ugly. As Belize moves into the future, we see the awareness of our wonderful artists being shared with the rest of the world as our country continues to blossom. We, of course, believe that we have a beautiful country and we have a lot for you to participate in. We invite you to experience the wonder and awe of our jewel and be one with Belize. Now I hear Mr. Macho bring a whole multitude of people to our bus. If you're caught with us, stand up. It was quite now, ugly. Please everybody stand up and give them a big round of applause. Thank you very much for your statement, Mr. Machu. There is a huge potential here to develop a film industry. And I want to continue to do that. I want to be a big part of it. I am so thrilled with the results of, of what we've been able to achieve in three months. It's never been done before, as far as I know for a feature film from the idea to the premiere in, what is that, 12 weeks. That's incredible. Um, we have so many people who took part in this project. Actually, in all of this, over 60, we couldn't get all of them here tonight. Uh, the one who performed earlier as well, Pablo Collado, has a few pieces of music in this film, and I, I love Pablo. This movie is entirely Belizean. Uh, 95% of the music that you're going to hear was composed here. All the actors are Belizean. Um, they have to import Istabai. It's a great Istabai! <laughs> but you live here. You've adopted Belize, so... <laughs> Just wait till you see that work. It's, it's, it is incredible. I'm not exaggerating. This whole project was an experiment, and we never expected to win. But we also never expected to lose to a film that was shot in England. Morning, everyone. To begin with, I'd like to introduce you to our three judges. As you know, this was the first time we had a jury, an international jury, uh, select the prizes. In previous years, it had been an audience award. There was a very strange vibe in that room. So, the, so, so uh, ultimately, the decision we made was based on on, on really um, some hard discussions about which film actually 
um, most showed um, an authentic texture that was Belizean. I had imagined in my mind a country of flowers, birds, beauty. Actually, it wasn't beautiful at all. It was quite ugly. An authentic texture that was Belizean. The, the, the film that we chose was Mrs. Robinson. That was the winner. It was quite ugly. Controversy erupted over the winner of the best Belizean film. His guy, Zelani Bain, captured that scene. As you know, the best Belizean film went to Thomas Hines for Mrs. Robinson. But the festivities may have been somewhat overshadowed by controversy over the winner of the best Belizean film award. Fire on the judges! Yep. Go for it! Straight up! An authentic texture. That was Belizean. Anything shot in Belize would not, be not would be okay. That was no Belizean landscape. Please, please. Yeah. Texture. Not one thing. And this yeah. is what you call a Belizean okay. film. Okay. 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 Yeah, I believe there was no thought. But there was a silence in that film that allowed the truth of those characters to be spoken, which I think is what you need when you're developing a language. You need to listen. Uh, a, fa a competition uh, for the fastest, but a competition for the... I think he's talking about our fast experimental uh, film. For the fastest... The, the I the think she's also talking Jesus. about our film. Maybe not rush to impose this or that, you know, structure, expectation, you know, whatever, whatever. But this is a developing culture. You know sometimes when you get ready and everything they go good, something must go wrong, yeah. while eating must go wrong. Okay. Yeah, I believe there was no thought. In the category of best Belizean film, the judges awarded the, the, the trophy to a movie that was made entirely outside of Belize. Sort of a, a hit to the local people here making movies. It's quite ugly. Because we are not being encouraged by the judges. And I'm, again, this is not about my film, this is about the Belizean film. I would have celebrated and stood up and applauded any Belizean filmmaker. Yeah, I believe there was no thought. No, no feeling for Bristol. Maybe next year, to judge the best Belizean film, it should be three Belizean judges. That best um, define what for them a film should be. Ah! <laughs> 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 Film. I'm very impressed, very happy to be a Belizean. It was funny. It was funny, I know. It was the best shit ever! <laughs> Think about that. So th this is incredible. Like this, this is showing that there is a market for Belizean cinema. Yeah, man, it's very nice. I think you gotta shoot again and make my next part. <laughs> you guys kicked ass. You gotta meet you it's awesome. Like... You exactly summed it up. Yeah. It's funny, serious, but it's awesome. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Fire on the judges! We're about to hit up the after party too! Yeah, after party! Those Belizean actors are totally...
Me encanta. Movie exciting. I think people should appear if they can watch this movie. It's very interesting. I love it. It's awesome. Tell Belizean stories in Belizean languages with Belizean young people and tell them to the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. I was so horny. Not horny, I was like, wow, that I'm in the movie, wow. Película mucha, aquí en Sevilla, diseños por cada uno son originales, hecho aquí en el calle. Okay.